what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we're about to go over how to pitch effectively in mlb the show 24 make sure that you hit that red subscribe button comment down below for the algorithm starting off with the pitchers and the pitch selection to help you be more successful thanks to my video sponsor u4gm they are offering cheap fast and reliable mlb the show 24 stubs if you are interested Click the link in the description, check more services, and use my code for 5% off. Let's be great, baby. All right, so what you want to look for is you want to make sure that you have either a sinker or a cutter. That's going to help you make your fastballs look the same and mix that in with off-speed pitches. Now, your pitch speed you want to make sure that you have at least an eight miles per hour difference that's going to help you overall so you can see Kota Singa has the 98 miles per hour fastball that I'm usually not even throwing unless it's outside the strike zone so I can get my opponent to chase the cutter and the fork ball is what I'm using most Bobby Miller he has the outlier he has the slider and the splitter Three miles per hour difference between them two. And then he has the sinker and the curveball. So the sinker and splitter with a 10 miles per hour gap makes this card very, very good. Glavin, the same thing. You have the circle change that's only 78 miles per hour. So you can speed them up with the sinker. You got the 90 miles per hour cutter. And then you have the off-speed pitch that if they are looking for fastball, they're going to whiff on the ball. It's hard to strike people out, so you need those meta pitches. All of them, or at least one. Now, starting the game, I like to test my opponent to see if he likes to take a pitch or if he's swing happy. So, I'm going to start outside of the zone and have a little bit of the par showing. So, right there, I'm going to take that feedback. The most important part of pitching, just early. That right there lets me know 92 miles per hour cutter, he's looking fastball so i'm going to take that information and i'm going to slow his bat down so i'm going to come with a slider that's under 92 miles per hour he gets out in front of it rolls over it we get a double play get out of the inning okay so right here you can see he's at the end of the bat he's looking for a fastball we started off with a cutter his pci is to the right side of the box he rolls over Easy, easy, double play. You want to make sure that it's low contact pitches. Now, right here, we're going to start with a fastball, 0-0 zero, zero count, and my par is outside the box. We're barely a little bit showing. So, if I have a perfect pitch, it's a chance that it's going to be right on the corner, and we dot it for a 0-1 count. Now, I'm going to come with a cutter. He's seen a fastball. Now, I was going to slow the pitch down and make a different route. Okay, so now he didn't swing at that one. We're going to try a slider. I didn't have good pitch release. Another ball. So it's a 2-1 count. At this point, you want to try to throw it in the strike zone, but you don't want to give him something that he can hit a home run off of. So we come back with a cutter. He swings early. So now we come with a fastball. He's thinking something that's going to move in the box like a cutter or the other pitches that I was throwing. We hit him. He don't even swing. Easy strikeout. So right here, we are mixing them up, giving them a bunch of different speeds. He can't get comfortable on where to put his bet at. We start top of the zone. He pops it up. Okay, so now we ended with a fastball. Now he was expecting for a fastball. Once he seen it curve at the end, he was under it with the cutter very late. So that very late information means he's looking for an off-speed pitch. And we're going to start him off with an off-speed pitch. But we're going to make sure it's all the way outside the zone. He takes it, slider, perfect release. Now we're going to come back. We're going to even slow it down even more. He's looking fast, boom, he whiffs on the pitch. This is the same sequence in the way that you should be pitching. Now he's going to slow down his bat. We're going to speed him up with a fastball. Keep your opponent uncomfortable, off balance, and you will win more games.